All right, guys, this is how we are going to transform a Jeep CJ997 front grill into a model one. All right, the only thing we need is kind of a net. You know, this plate that sells as a regular net. So, what we're going to do is we're going to place this out on the back. Then we are going to fit those with uh, a couple of screws in this point and in this point. All right? Let's see and let's begin to cut. All right, this is not very much as my workshop, but we have a couple of tools that we can work on it. That will be. And then we're going to be fixing this. And then, all right. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna. Uh, sorry for the branding stuff. Okay, we're gonna cut all this stuff and cut all those things one, two, three, four to fit the the part. The metallic shit that is gonna be like right here. Okay, let's see. Now we got the procedure. All right. This is kind of the way it has to, kind of the way it has to be. Let me see. Okay, something like that. All right. Maybe you are not able to see it. Okay, it is. Well, this is my model. And what we're doing is taking this over here. Put it like kind of in the panel. This thing had a lot of zoom. You know? So let's fit this on here. There you go. There you go. That is a kind of like the project. What are we gonna do on the next step? Okay. Okay, here's the first sample. All right, this is the original ones, and this is the way that it has to look like. So, any questions, please email me. So, let's go and see. That's how it looks in the computer. Well, display. So. Something like this is gone. Okay. All right. Let's keep working. All right. This is the way I'm doing this. All right. Actually, it's getting a little shitty because instead of this, I want to just. Something like this, maybe that will help a little better. There you go. One, two. I steal this from a video of our guys in Jeep Forum. Some of the guy. Okay. Let's see that if that works. Notice that I'm doing this in my office. I'm not in the workshop or something. Okay, you see? Okay, there you go. We have the other extreme coat. Mm, I'm in my office. Alright, you see? My office. It's not a workshop or something like that. Okay, so see how easy it is. Maybe the Dremel thing is good for this kind of parts where we are going to. the grill to the car I believe I have two now okay all 
All right, guys, this is the second part of the stuff. Okay, you see, we have it cut it off. Okay, we have all the pieces over here. So we shake this from here and from here. So working at the office. So it's not very comfortable. Okay, we made it with a Dremel. Found the spots. And then this is what we're gonna. Alright, this is the part where we clean up all this stuff. <laughs> All this shit, which I like this, okay. We've been doing this like for the three. We're number six now, we have only two left, five, and then two left, okay. Remember the thing, we're gonna shed it up with this stuff, the tool again. All right, we have now seem to be like. Kind of ready, ready to fix it up. We're going to proceed to well clean all this stuff. Okay, it's a little thinner in this stuff in this part. And then we're gonna proceed to paint. It's very important. This is the part where uh, you have to fix or figure out how to hold. the mesh itself. What I'm using is a couple of okay a screwdriver the Phillips screwdrivers. I mean Phillips bolts. I mean one, two, three and four. So that's what is gonna uh, hold our our mesh. Okay? Alright again we have one bolt, another bolt, one bolt these are kind of nice fix. All right, we got this is our mesh grill finished. I believe we're gonna we're gonna place it around the truck. Okay, guys, this is the. Uh, Final resort. Result. Not the final resort. This is the final result. Yeah. How it looks in the CJ. To show you how how it looks. I believe it's pretty cool. Took me a couple of hours doing this stuff. 